What's up guys? We just had an absolutely crazy cutoff race for the round of 12. Yes, this is the last race in the round of 12. The round of 8 is next week at Martinsville. Denny Hamlin secured his spot in that round by winning this race. His fifth win of the season. His 36th career cup series win. And man, it did not come without a fight for the bubble drivers. Oh my gosh. Chase Elliott finishing second. Chase Elliott advances to the round of eight just barely by three points over, yeah, Brad Keselowski. Brad Keselowski does not advance to the round of eight. Yes, oh my gosh, Chase Elliott coming into this race was 22 points out of making the round of eight. But he just battled back up, got stage points, finished second in the first stage. It was between him and... And Logano and Keselowski, Logano and Elliot advance, <laughs> Keselowski, he gets eliminated. So, let's go through the results of this Kansas Speedway race. Denny Hamlin gets first, his fifth win of the season. He did amazing today, pretty much dominated the end of the race. Chase Elliott, Chase Elliott was back and forth, above the cut line, below the cut line, everywhere around. Logano was then out, then Keselowski was then out, then Chase was out, then it was all mixed up, it was crazy, and Chase and Logano end up making it, and Keselowski doesn't, Chase Elliott gets second, so happy for Chase Elliott, Kyle Busch gets third, Kyle Busch had a great car going, but he just couldn't get back to the lead to pass his teammate Denny Hamlin. Kurt Busch gets fourth. Kurt Busch just snuck up out of nowhere to get this top five fourth place finish. Um, I'm really happy for Kurt Busch. Uh, his paint scheme was really weird this weekend. William Byron the, gets eliminated. He is one of the four drivers that get eliminated. That is Brad Keselowski, Alex Bowman, William Byron, and Clint Boyer are the four that get eliminated that don't make to the round of eight. William Byron had a great day going. He finishes fifth. Um, still an impressive year for him. Uh, first year in the playoffs, made it to the 12. Nice to see William Byron doing great, uh, but he does not advance. Martin Truex Jr. gets sixth. Martin Truex Jr. Um, was doing pretty great. Uh, Throughout the race, it didn't really get up front completely, um, but he still did pretty, pretty well um, in this race. Uh, probably, probably one of the championship favorites, um, if not the top championship favorite. Eric Jones gets seventh. Eric Jones running in the top five all day long. Nice to see him get seventh. Clint Boyer gets eighth, gets eliminated. Top 10 finish. Struggled all day long. I'm um, he, he's mad that get, he got eliminated, but um, in the grand scheme of things, he's got to be glad he got an eighth place. Kevin Harvick had to start in the back with a bunch of mechanical issues, but he gets back up to ninth. Really struggled all day. Um, Harvick, top 10. Jimmy Johnson gets 10. Jimmy Johnson scraped the wall during the race, but uh, obviously he didn't even make the playoffs at all this year, but still gets a top 10. Good for Jimmy Johnson. Alex Bowman gets eliminated. Alex Bowman was off all day today. Completely all off, and uh, unfortunate for Alex Bowman. Ryan Priest gets 12th. That's actually really good. His teammate Chris Buescher gets 13th. Really good. Top 15 finishes for those JTG Doherty guys. Kyle Larson gets 14th. Kyle Larson was dominating early in this race, riding the high line, but then he kind of got a mishap on pit road, stalled the car, just kind of went back from there and finishes 14th. Still, he got locked in at Dover. Obviously, he advances from that uh, because he won. So uh, nice to see him get 14th. Matt DiBenedetto gets another top 15 finish. Nice to see him and that Levine team kind of picking up their intermediate track program with that top 15. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. gets 16th. Stenhouse hit the wall a few times in this race, like a lot of people did, and uh, he gets 16th. Joey Logano gets 17th. Logano advances by 9 points. Wow. He spun. This race had two overtimes. Oh, it was so close from it being called because... Hamlin didn't hit the finish line before um, caution came out, didn't hit the white flag. Um, Logano gets 17th. Logano spun on one of those um, restarts for um, the first overtime. And um, man, Logano just barely advances. He was on the bubble all day. Then it was Keselowski. Uh, Logano won the first stage. Uh, yeah, whew, it's crazy for Logano around here. <laughs> Paul Menard gets 18th. Paul Menard um, 
he was running pretty well in this race, and uh, he had neck pain last week, so um, he had Matt Crafton fill in for him there. Brad Keselowski gets eliminated. He does not make the round of eight. Unfortunate for Brad Keselowski. He came in 20 points above. Logano came in 18 points above, and um, unfortunate for Brad Keselowski. Uh, does not advance. Wow. He won Martinsville earlier in the year. It sucks that he doesn't advance to see if he can win Martinsville again, and if he and if he was in the playoffs and won, he would be um, into the championship four at Homestead. Austin Dillon gets 20th. Austin Dillon, for no reason, shoved uh, Joey Logano, which made Logano spun in the grass. Uh, Ryan Blaney, last week's winner at Talladega, did amazing today. He was running extremely well, but then he scraped the wall, cut a tire, and that went that was terrible. Ty Dillon gets 22nd. Eric Almarola got a penalty on pit road today. He gets 23rd. Michael McDowell gets 24th. Matt Tiff gets 25th. David Reagan started on the front row for this race. He gets 26th. That's pretty crazy. He had troubles early and dropped like a rock. Uh, Ross Chastain gets 27th. Corey LaJoy, 28th. Parker Kligerman, 29th. J.J. Yaley, 30th. Daniel Hemrick, 31st. The pole sitter got heavy damage at the end with Daniel Suarez, who gets 32nd here. Daniel Suarez had a really fast car up in the top five for a lot of the times in the beginning of the race. Reed Sorensen gets 33rd. Garrett Smithley gets 34th. Bubba Wallace gets 35th. He hit hard. Oh, his whole tire and wheel came off. It was rough. Him and Matt Tift uh, got crashed pretty, pretty hard. That was... That was rough there. And uh, Josh Balicki, 36th. And that was late in the race. Josh Balicki, 36th. Landon Castle, 37th. Joey Gase, 38th. Timmy Hill, 39th. And last is Ryan Newman and 40th. He had problems really early in the race, which brought out the caution. Yeah, there were two overtime finishes in this race. Chase Elliott advances to the round of eight, while Bowman Byron, Boyer, and Keselowski are the odd men out. Uh, Logano advances. Oh, wow. Chase Elliott's the only Hendrick car that makes it. And for the Xfinity race yesterday at Kansas, Brandon Jones for Joe Gibbs Racing got his first Xfinity Series win. Not part of the playoffs anymore. He got eliminated, uh, so he does not make the championship for um uh, so th- it was dramatic in that Xfinity race. Custer, Reddick in a fight. Custer came up to Reddick. Didn't mean to fight him, but put his hand on Reddick's shoulder, and that caused a big fight with him. And uh, Austin Sindrick had a terrible day. He crashed into Harrison Burton. Harrison Burton wasn't happy. Penske guys in Xfinity hate him, uh, I guess. Menard and Sindrick both have dumped Harrison Burton in two different races. Um, the leaders, Chase Briscoe and uh, Christopher Bell, came up on the lap car of Garrett Smithley. Smithley didn't know he was there. That caused tremendous damage on both Briscoe and Bell, the leaders. That allowed for Brandon Jones to be able to win his first career Xfinity Series race. And in the Cup Series race, Denny Hamlin gets his 36th Cup win. And yes, he is on to the round of eight. We will have to see who the championship for is, who the next four guys to be eliminated is. And um, yeah, we, we have three more races to know in this next round. So, of course, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And I uh, can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye-bye, uh, guys.